What's up, everybody? This is Axis, and today <coughs> I got some. I got a new series that I'm going to be doing. I don't know how often I'm going to upload this series. Maybe once a week, hopefully. If not, maybe once every two weeks or something like that. But it's called Table Talk, and it's where I basically just go on, talk about maybe some WWE gimmicks, some uh, updates on wrestlers. Like, maybe they're injured, or maybe they're just taking some time off, or whatever. Stuff like that. Maybe I'm talking about WWE 2K14. Anything like that. Any WWE-related anything. It's probably going to be a little longer than, like, my regular uh, rumors slash updates on wrestlers or whatever. Anyways, I thought I'd first talk about... um the Sin Car update. I just did a video like maybe a day ago or a couple, no, not even a day ago, like 12 hours ago. And uh, the update on him is his contract does not expire, like the original Sin Cara, his contract does not expire till January, sometime in January, maybe January 1st. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Because uh, cause WWE did put out a little update thing. And they did say that Hunico is going to be working under the character Sin Cara and they have not said anything about an NXT star coming up to replace Hunico after you know that if they even have anybody I don't like I said in, the, in my last video I don't know who they would replace him because I don't watch NXT anyways off that update uh, there's been uh, some CM Punk CM Punk's have been dealing with the couple he's been wrestling with a couple injuries uh, uh, I gotta get down to it. Uh, he he's working banged up. He's he's reportedly dealing with a back issue. I don't know what that's about, but I mean, I I wouldn't wrestle with a back issue because that could be like the end all be all to your career. And he maybe has a little bit of rib cartilage, cart, yeah, cartilage or whatever it's called. Uh, on Monday's Raw, as you saw, uh, they writ they writ him written uh, around CM Punk not taking any punishment so he could have, you know, kind of a night off or whatever. And what he did wrestle in the SmackDown taping, so I don't know, maybe just a day off helped him. <laughs> I doubt it if he's having back issues and rib cartilage. I I don't know. Rey Mysterio update. Uh, he's back now, full-time with WWE. He's been advertised for New York City, Hartford, and the network events during Christmas week. So... Ray's back. I like Ray. So, you know, and then uh, Cena not being advertised or missing a Raw. Uh, he's not being advertised for the December 30th Raw in Richmond, Virginia. But he is still scheduled to be at SmackDown Live event in Toronto that night. So, maybe he's taking a few nights off himself. So, you know, I guess that's good. Next, I want to talk about the unified champion that's going to be at TLC, which I have no idea when the actual date is. Anyways, they took it to a vote, I think, uh, for, like, the Raw, whatever, and people chose the Unified, like, the name, like, Undisputed Unified or whatever the other one was. They chose the Unified, which I, I, I obviously, I did not vote, even though they probably wouldn't have made a difference, but, you know, I am disappointed in that name. Undisputed sounds so much better. I mean, I don't know why, you know, why they would, why the fans would vote for that. I mean, I guess I do know, but to me, in my opinion, the, uh, Undisputed sounds so much better than Unified. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but Undisputed sounds so much better to me. And, uh... See what else. Damien Sandow's quote of the day: <laughs> "Stupidity is legal, and don't abuse the privilege." Whatever, whatever that means. I don't know why I put that down. That's that's kind of dumb. Uh. Next, I'm gonna talk about WWE's little gimmick with Triple H and Stephanie are doing. The I don't even the. It's best for business, whatever. You know, that little thing right there. 
and how they have Kane unmask and everything. And I, and me personally, I just think it's dumb and stupid. I don't even think it's that entertaining, really. I think it'd be best for, for business if they completely took that out, because that 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 for me is just is really dull. And they've kind of done that. Maybe not them themselves, but WWE's kind of done that before. And it's really just n not that entertaining for me. Like how what they did to Kane, he made him whatever. Uh, they made him whatever it's called. Basically, I mean, he's wearing a suit now, so you know that fucking sucks. Ooh, hang on, guys, my package is here. Holy shit! Hell, sorry about that, guys. My Bates pill just got here. Hey, <laughs> I'm getting that for Christmas, but I had to order it off my, myself offline because my mom doesn't know how to do jack shit. But I'm getting that for Christmas, so I can't open it. So it's like, and she's not even home right now, so I can just tear in that shit right now and just open that shit up. Get my iPod, iPod wireless Bluetooth to that shit and just jam out if I wanted to. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, where was I at? Uh, I think I was like the Kane, right? Kane suit, whatever. Uh, yeah, Kane. They put him in the suit and he's like, I don't even know what the fuck he is, but he's he's something and he's in a suit now. He's not. I don't think he's wrestling. So that's just kind of it's kind of ticking me off that they did that. Which I guess that's what they're trying to do. And whatever they're trying to do, whatever. I guess that's what they're trying to do, piss people off or something, but I thought that was pretty shit. And, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's that. Oh my god. And, uh, and to go on with along with the video, uh, t I named it Table Talk because, as you see, you're watching... CM Punk, uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, and Jack Swagger in a tables match for a uh, four fatal four-way tables match, and that's what the video is kind of because like that's probably what one of my favorite match types to do or whatever play as, and I'm CM Punk and Ziggler, the uh, what's the word you know guys you guys know what I'm talking about he screws me up. <laughs> yeah, he screws me up, and at the very end, I don't, I'm not going to say who wins, but, you know, that legend difficulty is hard as hell. I don't know what the 2K did to it, but it's a lot harder than WWE 12 and WWE 13. I can whoop legend's ass left and right on those games, but this game right here, WWE 2K 14, it is, legend difficulty is ridiculous. I mean, it's not like I can't win. But when I'm doing like a one-on-one -on -one normal match, they reverse your finisher. If you guys play the game, you know you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you play on Legend, they reverse your finisher so much it's stupid. And when that happens, it's so hard to win. That's why I like doing extreme rules match so I can just go get a weapon and just take them out. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So there's that. Enough stuff to talk about here. Uh, let's talk about, uh, wait, I, I don't think I was talking about Kane, I was, I was talking about the Unified Championship, right? I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna talk about who I want to win. I would like to see Orton take the victory, because, I mean, it's not, I'm not one of those people that are like, Oh, I hate Cena, because oh, he only, you know, he's for little kids and everything, it's not like that. I, I mean, I'm a fan of Cena, I mean, I like him, I like his character or whatever, but I would much rather see Orton get the victory just because he's probably my favorite wrestler at the moment. Like when he's heel, he's just, oh, just bad ass. And I'm glad that they brought back the punt. They did ban it. I don't know why they ban Well, I know why they banned it. Because it was actually giving, when Orton did actually kick him in the head, it was actually giving wrestlers concussions. So I'm pretty sure that's why they banned it. But I'm so glad they that uh, WWE let him use it now. Oh my god, that punt is amazing. It's probably my favorite finisher. It's just... I just like that they used it to take out... Like, put people out of action after, you know, he punted them in the head. It's just... Bad... Ass. Ugh. 
I'm gonna talk about the Slammies now. I heard that WWE trying to make a little changes to the Slammies actually. So let's talk about that. Apparently WWE has made a change with the 2013 Slammy Awards. The Brooklyn Brawler noted on Twitter that all the winners will be announced on WWE's website sometime this week. They presented on next Monday's Raw. Show voting should be open on the WWE app. Hmm. I did not know that when I saw that little thing right there. Uh. Chris. Oh, I heard about these. There's Miz in this mystery food truck thing. Miz noted earlier the Miz tweeted a photo of a food truck on Monday Night Raw, and he recently got the chance to try it out. Miz said he would find out who owns the truck on Friday. Celebrity Chef Gordine Ramsay tweeted a photo of the same food trucks this morning and said the mystery owner has challenged him to a cook-off on Thursday. Okay. <laughs> and here's another little Sin Cara thing. WWE sources believe the Sin Cara is done with the company but hasn't been confirmed yet. The decisions were made on Raw on Raw Monday and moved forward with Hunico under the mask. Uh, there has been unhappiness internally since Sankara debuted with the feeling that he underachieved upon arrival, got hurt too often, and sometimes carried himself backstage as if he was a bigger star than he actually was. <laughs> so he's one of those guys, huh? Because uh, Sankara was the first signing under Triple H, there has been pressure for him to break through as a top star. Which Sankara just really isn't a top... I mean, I'm not... He could be, I mean, if you saw... Like, especially when he first came in the to the WWE, the moves that he would, pull, like, the moves that he would actually pull off that, and he wouldn't botch, were amazing, like, like, in his, like, little trampoline jump onto the ring, like, I thought that was bad ass, I was like, oh, look at that, but, yeah, and they, I obviously took that off eventually, whatever, which, that, that made me mad, <clears throat> but his, like, s some of the moves he did was just insane, like, that's, I, and, of course, I know that's, like, Lucha or whatever, he was wrestling with some Mexican whatever before he was in the before Triple H brought him to the WWE. But the moves that he would pull out like like with like the first five times the song wrestle were just insane. I was just blown away each like because there was moves I've never seen. Which obviously I don't watch the Mexican wrestling, but maybe I should start because I mean to me that's just badass what he could do, what I saw him do. Anyways, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end it. Talked about a lot of stuff, some random stuff. Yes, I know. It's kind of weird. I'll try not to talk about so the random stuff next time. Table talk. Anyways, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want if you want me to talk about something in the next table talk. Anything like that. I will talk to you guys later.